On today's episode of In The Note, we'll be diving further into modern reports in QuickBooks and Intuit Enterprise Suite. Now you have even more functionality in the modern reports feature. Hey, Pro Advisors, it's Jacqueline, and you're watching In The Know, where you get exclusive access to demos of Intuit product enhancements by the leaders who built them. Let's jump right in with Subanon, covering modern reports in QuickBooks and Intuit Enterprise Suite. Subanon, welcome. Thank you, Jacqueline, uh, for having me here. And then I'm really excited to talk about the improvements and you know, all of the things that we're doing for uh, modern reports. Um, without uh, much ado, let's now dive in to start things off. Uh, is we wanted to let everyone know that we hear you. We also do understand that reports is one of the most critical tools in QuickBooks, which is helping you understand your finances. Yet, we do also understand that modern reports at times feels incomplete and not very intuitive. And because of two main reasons, there is friction in the reports. There are many uh, features which was present in the classic view, which isn't present in modern. And then the user interface that you used to have in the classic version is gone. And then the modern view that we have is not as intuitive. But there are certain things that we have done uh, in order to make it a lot better. We have actually fixed you know, a few issues that were there. We have added features that were missing in, in modern view and the ones that were present in classic. And also we have designed a new user interface, which is much similar to classic such that you uh, are very well versed with the reporting uh, interface uh, with classic, and then you'll go ahead and use it. So let's now look at a few things. The things that we have fixed or you know, the uh, improvements that we have added. First things is with regards to auto refresh of reports. We do also understand there is a need for accountants to analyze their reports, to drill down into the numbers. And then, you know, you see if there is any changes that you need to do. For example, you open an invoice, go ahead and make some changes here, and then you save it. What previously used to happen in modern view is that it did not reflect automatically. But now after you are going ahead and saving any transactions, and then closing the transaction, you will see that the report will auto refresh itself. You do not have to you know, manually go ahead and refresh it to see the latest numbers. Another feature that we have added is uh, the persistence of customizations. So we know that um, you know, uh, once a report is loaded in default view, you would like to customize it as per your needs, right? Uh, and when you do this customization, and you move back and forth, whether you drill down, you go back. So all of this customization used to be lost, right? But now uh, these customization will be intact, will persist. For example, now you see, I am you know, increasing the width of certain columns and then trying to drill down. Once I drill down, if I want to go back again to the report, you will see all of the customizations that you did with reporting period, with the width of the columns, everything now uh, persist. So which is, you know, again, a good thing. Another thing that I also wanted to talk about and we heard uh, is, you know, anytime you make any customization, when you wanted to go back, we always prompted you that, hey, you go ahead and save this report. But we hear you and, and we understand that, you know, you do not need prompting. If there is a need for you to save the report, you'll go ahead and save it. So uh, this prompt was kind of causing more problems that it was solving. So from now on, any customization that you do, you go back, you will not be prompted to save. If you want to save, of course, there is an option to save, but you will not receive this prompt that you have to you know, close. Another functionality that we have brought, and, and this was very uh, you know dear when we had the classic view, was the page level scroll. So, so what used to happen in the modern view is that we the report used to load in a box. And if you wanted to make any, uh, let's say scroll through the report, you had to come inside of the box and then scroll. We have uh, now removed that. Now there is a page level scroll where you will be able to scroll right, you know, wherever your cursor is and, uh, you know, you will be able to look uh, to the finances of your uh, report. These are, you know, few things that I'm talking about that we have made changes. There are a lot more changes that we have made. 
the functionalities that were there in uh, the classic version of, were missing in modern is now not the case and, and we have implemented. On top of that, you know, we also do understand that uh, at times modern felt non-intuitive and, um, you know, classic version was something that everyone, you know, all of the accountants and every users were very used to it and um, it was more intuitive. So what we did is we created a new user interface which brought the best of two worlds. One is the user interface of the classic view, also the powerful features of the modern view. Now, this is the new user interface that you will see. If you want to go ahead and view this profit and loss report by months, you do not have to do three or four clicks. You can see all of the most important workflows right in front of you. We just have to click on you know, months and then the report will automatically you know, transfer it transform itself to show profit and loss by months. You can, you know, go ahead and drill down into it. You can go ahead and, and customize, let's say. So all of the customization feature, which was scattered in the top panel, so to say, have been brought, you know, in the customization panel. There's no feature that is missing, you know, whether it is filters, you know, uh, columns, uh, headers, footers, pivot tables, so on and so forth, you will be able to see. And the powerful nature of modern view is that there are, you know, few features which are not present in classic, but are in modern, for example, you can group by, right? Uh, you report into a certain uh, attribute. You can also, you know, go ahead and create pivot tables. You can select, you know, what is it that you want to see in the x-axis or y-axis. And then um, not only that, once you create a pivot table, you can always go ahead and see it in a chart view you can always go ahead and edit the chart view as well. So yeah, so these are, you know, some enhancements I am just showing you. There are far more enhancements that are, have also been done in the product, such that there is no uh, gap between, let's say the classic view and the modern view. And we are trying to bring the best of both the worlds just so that we can make uh, the new modern view more effective. So uh, thank you uh, for your time and uh, yeah. Well, hey, thanks so much for being on the show and for walking us through that demo. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. That's all we have for now. For more product updates and demos, check out our In The Know Hub. We'll catch you next time.